Bobby Bland's the lion of the blues. When he sings, you feel it. They would go to small clubs in different towns, you know, and perform for a small amount of people, but the audience was real passionate about it. And within that network, they were able to really kind of get themselves out there and build a following that would help them as they got bigger. Love Light spent 15 weeks on the R&B charts, topping out at number two. It's been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the Grammy Hall of Fame, just that one song alone. So that's definitely a major record for Bobby Blue Bland. C.L. Franklin was the biggest preacher in the country from a black church perspective, and that's probably where he got that growl from. His California album spawned two top 20 R&B singles in 1973 and crossed over onto the pop charts for four months. That record was a turnaround for him. That kind of put him back on the map and made people kind of remember who he was, and he started to build a new phase for his career. Ain't No Love in the Heart of the City was actually a love song. But also, at that time, there was so much going on in the 70s that people were able to just take that lyric and apply it to other areas of life. You Putting B.B. King and Bobby Blue Bland together just made sense. They were on the same label. And so for them to do a record together was just, it was perfect. You know? 